Hello! I would like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where today we're going to start looking at the measurements that you take with your customer wearing the new frame that they've chosen. What is an OC height? What is it that we're about to mark on the demo lens on Concy the customer's frame so that we can tell the lab that we want to move our OC? Remember, if you don't tell the lab anything, you've got a customer with higher, higher powers. You make a great frame choice because frame choice is still everything here. And their eye sits perfectly half of the B. That's exactly where the lab is going to place the OC of the lens. Here's my minus eight. I don't tell them anything because of where my customer's eye ends up. Everything works out perfect. But you've made a great frame choice. They have high powers or higher powers, if you will. And all of the stuff that goes along with that, things we've talked about in the past, because they're high power, you're gonna use a high index, an aspheric, maybe a free form single vision. You've made a good frame choice. They put the glasses on and their eye sits above half the B. I want to move my OC from here to here, or at least closer to there. So I know my boxing system. I measure from the right, right spot at the bottom of the lens where it sits in the frame. I measure from there up to my OC center, the dot that I'm gonna place on the demo lens in a second, I'll show you. I'm gonna measure that and that will become my OC height. Before I sit down with Concy, the customer, and do a measurement for an OC height, let's talk a little bit about pre-adjustment or pre-OC height segment placement, progressive fitting across placement adjustments. 99% of all of your pre-adjust stuff should be done, should be taken care of alone by a good frame choice. All of that stuff that we've talked about in the past. If your width is good, your nose is good, your temple length is good, you should be 99% of the way home. If you're not, you can't bend yourself out of a corner. Nobody puts baby in a corner. If you do need to do a pre-adjust before taking an OC segment or progressive fitting height, you have got to practice, 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 so that you have got it down in one or at the absolute most two moves. Don't creep your customer out by taking the glasses off and putting them on, off and on and adjusting and tweaking and bending and putting them back on. Remember guys, you don't have the money in the till yet. This sale is not closed. Don't creep them out. You gotta be ready to do this in one fell swoop. How do you do that? It's not a one, two, three. You're gonna look at three things. You're gonna look at the temple. All that matters is that it is not riding up early and pushing that frame up and putting in some tilt that you don't want. If there is extra back here that you need to adjust, it's sitting on top of their ear, you're done. Don't even look at that. We'll look at that when we're actually dispensing the pair after it comes back from the lab. You're gonna look again really, really closely at their nose. Maybe there's a nose pad that needs a little tiny bend. Maybe they both need to be brought in just a little bit. You've practiced. You're noting that in your head. Let's say that the temple was riding up a little bit. Let's say that you do want to adjust that nose pad a little bit. And what really matters here is that they are level. They're straight across. How do we level a frame? From the chassis where the temples meet, we move them up and down, move the frame across, it's not one, two, three. It's looking at one, two, three, deciding what you need to change and doing that in one move. 
take them off. I've got to push that temple back a little bit so it's resting on top of the ear. I'm going to take my nose pad pliers and I'm going to adjust my nose pads where they need to be. And I'm going to bend those temples if I need to to get that frame level. Might pop it back on and make sure, but it should be in one move. We'll get into the stuff about adjustments for a person or an individual over standard alignment in a couple of months. Let's meet and greet Concy the customer. And sure enough, right on time, Concy the customer has arrived. We just were over at the whiteboard talking about the need to pre-adjust the frame before taking any measurements. And I say, would you put that on for me, please? And this is the perfect time for me to mention that I always tell the customer to put the frame on themselves. I know there's some old school people to believe that you should be controlling and you should be placing the glasses on the customer. No. And the first time you knock someone's wig off, you'll know why. Don't buy wigs that come off at the wrong time. A bad idea. Customer is perfectly capable of putting that frame on. I'm going to look, just like we just talked about on the whiteboard, I'm looking at her nose, I'm looking at the nose pads, I'm looking at the frame level on her face, I'm making sure it's not riding up off of her ear. If I needed to make any adjustments, we'll talk about how you do those when we get to dispensing in a couple of weeks or a couple of months. Right now, everything looks good. The frame is level, it is not riding on her ear and pushing up, and the nose pads look great. The frame is good for her, we made a good choice. All right, that's all the stuff that we have to do before we ever take our first measurement that involves the frame. And what is that first measurement? Well, we're going to start with the optical center or OC heights. Remembering that PD is horizontal along the 0, 180, while your OC is in the vertical or the 90. Well, stuff you should know by now from the other stuff in the videos and on the website. Keeping in mind that your brain is quite sensitive to PD movement along the 0, 180, not so much for vertical. Remember, watch that video. If you haven't, certainly great one to watch. That one talks a lot about the importance of the OC placement. I consider starting to think about an OC height bump Remembering that we do have one beautiful standard in the industry, and that is if it's not specified, they're going to place the OCs evenly right at half the B of the frame. I consider looking at an OC height. My customer's eye is above the center line of the B at about five diopters. There are no rules. There's no rules! I'm too sure. Back on. There's one! There is no textbook, there is no chart, there is no wheel that you turn that says, yes, you need to use an OC height. It's really kind of rule of thumb stuff, your best judgment. Certainly your high indexes, your sevens and up, probably want to consider an OC height. I believe that a bunch of the freeform single visions require it. Aspherics, not a bad idea, keeping it towards the center of the aspheric button. But keep it between Zero, not saying anything, your customer's eye is perfectly centered vertically in the frame, between one and five millimeters. If you have to bump an OC more than five millimeters, to have it sitting in front of your customer's eye in higher powers, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, well, then you chose the wrong frame. Okay, you can't put your sevens and eights in the dinner plate specials. If you've got that, Wrong frame. Go back and start over and watch all the other videos. <laughs> Just a note that you can use this exact same method for your squirmy kids. Anyone that can't handle using the pupillometer won't sit still for your electronic measuring device. Little kids, sit them down. Get down there with them on the floor. Your kids are soft. But I've got news for you. You are mine now. You belong to me. Get them to stare at you, dot, dot, and move on. It's probably as good as you're gonna get. After I've done that pre-adjustment, if I need to, what matters most here is that when I am taking a manual measurement like this, 
Lots of the time you're doing this still, not everybody has an OptiCam or a digital measuring system of some kind, is that we are on the same level. Now, how are we going to determine that? First of all, uh, we took a measurement from the floor to the center of Concy's eye. We've got about four feet there, so we put our level bar, our marker here at four feet. The table that's in front of the camera here is level. There's my level. The sign on the wall is level. The floor isn't, but this should be a pretty darn good consistent level, 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 level. We're human. It's really easy to get this wrong. So you need to work at it. Practice this. Work with your coworkers. Two of them. Play, role play, switch places. You stand where the camera is and you look and see how good they are at remaining level. I do have a tendency to do one of these. I, I, I duck in for some reason. Not a good thing to do. If you are vertically challenged and you're always looking up at people, you're going to end up being high all the time. That's why these chairs have usually adjust for the optician. Not, hey, break out the phone book, whatever you've got to do to reach that level, consistent level point of view. If you're very tall, you're probably going to end up being low most of the time. So here's my guide. I'm not going to duck in. I'm going to say, oh, this is the other thing we need to talk about, is getting her to put her head in the proper posture. All right, we're just going to shake your head out for me. Good. OK, just looking right straight at me, level-headed. Good. Okay. And you control this situation. There are times you say, can you lift your head just a little bit for me? Down just a little. Oh, perfect. Right? Turn your head a little bit to this side. Now look like straight. Right? Perfect. Right? This is your job, okay? This is being an optician. You have to tell them where to place their head. For some reason, I think it's a nervous kind of thing, people like to do this for some reason, and that pushes the glasses up, it changes their face, they, they, they pull their head back, not a good thing. You've got to break the ice, you've got to get into, okay, just kind of loosen up your head for me. Good, okay, looking straight ahead right at me. Perfect, okay, so just the perfect posture that you want. You can't have this. You can't have this nice and level. With that all being said, her eye is perfectly centered in this frame, but we're going to pretend it's not. Okay, I'm going to say that her eye is just a little bit above half that B, and I'm going to come straight in, looking pretty level. I'm human, might not be perfect, but we're trying, all right? And I'm going to hold my wrist, and I'm going to hold my pen, looking straight at me, and I'm going to dot the center of her pupil, in the center of her pupil. If I'm off by half a millimeter or a millimeter, no one is going to die here. Right? This is just a, a little subtle change of trying to keep that OC as close to the center of her pupil as you can in those higher powers. We'll talk about the importance of it in progressives in about two weeks, I believe. Once I had that, I don't want to risk losing it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my PD stick and I am going to go ahead and measure that. And I have got 25. So I may as well go ahead and I'll show you what I do here. So we'll go ahead and write 25 here. And I probably put a note at the bottom as well. Just so the lab, sure, and I knew in the next person that comes along, if they're working with Consi and they need to check the glasses or something, they'd see the note and know that their OC would be higher than they might expect it to be. If I choose to use a digital measuring device like the OptiCam, well, it's certainly a wonderful idea. I just know that not everybody has one. It does eliminate some of the issues if I'm taller, um, shorter. It, this can overcome almost all of it. I'd say probably within a good, and I, I don't know the specs, but probably a good eight inches or more that this is over, able to control that we're not by doing it manually. And sure enough, my OptiCam image shows my heights at 24.1 and 24.6. So I'm quite happy with my dot of 25. I am a huge fan of digital measuring devices, but I also have almost no experience with them. If you have one, use one, but be sure to practice the manual approach just in case. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching us on Facebook, please give us a like. Watching us on YouTube, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there in the corner and make sure that every lens that goes into that frame that you've pre-adjusted and done an OC height on or not 
comes from Laramie K. And I'll see you again next week.